Şaban Kahlayla Yahavu Bahashem Yahavuşa Bahashem Rekakadash All praises be to the Most High Yahavu In the name of His Son And our Lord and Savior Yahavuşa Much respect and honor to the brothers That are doing the work In truth and sincerity Risking their lives and freedom to do so Pushing this gospel Throughout the four corners of the earth Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad and double honors and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you on another lesson. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is your sword. So evil Eve is being stirred up. The Lord is brandishing and furbishing a sword. And this man is getting ready to go all out. And he's waving the left hand of judgment right now. I was listening to a video earlier. And this woman was talking about many of the medical staffs in New York are operating at about 50 to 60 percent manning. Many of of their staff members are walking out. <clears throat> and what we're seeing in Chicago right now, there's a big decision on that's pending on the police force. If they don't agree to the baby sword, many of them will have their pay relinquished or forfeited pay. So there's a lot going on right now. That man of sin has been revealed. The son of perdition. And that perdition means destruction. So now he's coming forth with baby sword mandates. And he is pissed. He's been revealed as the wicked, as the one that the Most High rejected. And so now he's ramping things up. There's a scene in this movie, Chucky, and I want to play it. Now, what you'll notice, when did Esau begin to gradually get progressively worse and more sinister when he was revealed? So I'm going to play that scene in the movie. When he was exposed as being a fraud and a liar, he turned violent. So this man is getting ready to show his horns. Let's play that scene in the movie. And this is from 1988 Child's Play. Say something, damn it! Hi, I like to be hugged. you for a best friend. Sure. How was he able to talk with no batteries?
Chucky want to play? <laughs> Being exposed, being revealed as the wicked, and the veil of deception and the covering cast of lies is being un is being disclosed. Let's go into it. Let's go to Sirach nine, verse thirteen. Keep thee far from the man that have power to kill, so shalt thou not doubt the fear of death. And if thou come unto him, make no fault, lest he take away thy life presently. Remember that thou goest in the midst of snares, and that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city. So make thee ready for thy battle. And we're living in some dangerous times. Be circumspect because the days are evil. And to be circumspect means to look round about you. So this man is moving with his baby swords. That's a start. Let's go to Psalm 17, verse 12. <clears throat> like as a lion that is greedy of his prey, and as it were a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. So that wicked is talking about Esau, Edom. That man of sin, the son of perdition. And perdition means destruction. Let's keep going. Let's go to Sirach. Sirach 14, verse 5. He that is evil to himself... To whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. And they're even oppressing their own people to bring forth a global reset, the NWO. Or six, there is none worse than he that envieth himself. And this is a recompense of his wickedness. And if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly. And at the last, he will declare his wickedness. If he does what? If he doeth good. Let's read it again. So he comes in claiming to come in peace. Putting on a massage. Like he's trying to help you. When in reality. He's trying to destroy you. Sirach 14. Or 7. And if he doeth good. He doeth it unwillingly. And at the last. He will declare his wickedness. So he has. A sinister agenda. Left-handed madness. Sinister means wicked. Let's go to Sirach 12, verse 10. 
And I, that Eve that I talked about that I ran into about a week ago, I was trying to tell her about this juice and why to avoid it. And then I told her the Bible says that we were sold to our enemies. So she cuts me off and say, we are to trust our enemies, love our enemies. I told her that's talking about fellow Israelites. So this Eve was bugged out. That's talking about Israelites in Leviticus chapter 19. Let's get that real quick. Leviticus 19. Let's go to verse 16. Thou shalt not go up and down as a talebearer among thy people. Neither shall thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. I am the Lord. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. Go to Deuteronomy 15 and 12. So it's talking about your people, Israelites. Deuteronomy 15 Verse 12, and if thy brother, a Hebrew man or a Hebrew woman, be sold unto thee and serve thee six years, then in the seventh year thou shalt let him go free from thee. So those neighbors, brothers and sisters, are Israelites. Now let's go to Sirach 12 and 10. So the enemy in Sirach 12 and 10 is talking about the other nations outside of Israel. The natural heathen and Gentile nations. Sirach 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Though he humbleth himself, and go crouching, yet take good heed, and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. See, so you notice when he was exposed in the movie, that's when his horns came out. That's when he began to turn violent, no different from today. He's been exposed as the wicked and as the people whom the Lord cursed and rejected. So Rock 12, let's go to verse 12. Set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. So his ultimate objective is to overthrow you. Verse 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beast? So Esau Edom is a serpent, a wild beast, the proverbial snake in the grass. And when you go into the Old Testament, that word serpent comes from the Hebrew nakash, which means sorcerer. Look at the image again. And pharmacy comes from the Greek pharmakia, which means witchcraft. <coughs> so this man is crazy. Look at him. Two-thirds Israelites, 
They trust Chucky. Evil Sleazy E. Sirach 12, verse 12. Set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat, and thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beasts? So one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity? Remember that man of sin, the son of perdition. Everything contrary to the Bible, that's what he promotes and push. And his religion, his religion is pseudoscience and man-made doctrine. Verse 15. For a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Remember the movie. So he was like, you know, he would like he loves hugs and let's be friends to the end. You want to be my friend? All lies. Or 17. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And thou, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. <laughs> That's why medical staff are walking off the job in droves. Well, this has nothing to do with health, but everything to do with a new order of the ages. Verse 18. He will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance. Remember that angry, ugly face came out? That's Esau Edom. Same creature from the movie Chucky. Sinister, wicked, evil, deceptive, a liar. So hopefully this lesson has been edifying. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. And we know that wicked pursuant to Psalms 22 and 16 is talking about the Romans, the Edomites. See how he changed his countenance? Look at that face. He will change his countenance after being exposed and confronted approach on his deception. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. We got next, Lord willing. Barack of Thumb, Kwame Yasharala, and Abad Babao. Shalom.